This is how Toyota can screw up the redesigned Tacoma. Let's hope they're listening. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. You know, I've been thinking, you know, there's starting to be some rumblings of the redesigned Toyota Tacoma. I've mentioned it, done a couple videos about it. And I was thinking today, you know, what can Toyota do to really screw that up, you know? Not that I want them to, and, and I'm not trying to be negative, but what could they do to mess it up? You know, I wanted to kind of put this out there, hoping that maybe, just maybe, somebody from Toyota might be listening, or somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody from Toyota, right? Because we're all anticipating it, at least I am. You know, I love the Toyota Tacoma, and I'm very excited to see what they do in the next go around because there's a few things that I think they need to make sure that they address, maybe correct, maybe improve upon, to make that Toyota Tacoma, the 2023, 2024, whatever it's gonna be, even better and allow them to maintain that number one spot, right? So first of all, technology, right? You know, I'm a big tech guy. I love tech in my vehicles, even though I know the more tech you have, the more problems you're probably gonna have. But still, I love tech. And I think just something as simple as a bigger screen, right? I mean, all the manufacturers are going to the bigger screens. I just put a bigger screen in my Jeep Gladiator out there because I really love it. And I don't see any reason why during a redesign, Toyota couldn't increase the screen size and put more options on it. You know, controls for things like air conditioning, heating, all the different things that it can control inside the truck. Maybe gets rid of some of those other knobs and buttons and things, except the volume knob. We want a radio volume knob, but everything else is fair game. Fuel economy, you know, the Toyota Tacoma for its size, you would think would get better fuel economy already, right? I mean, I'm getting somewhere in the, I hate to admit it, high 13, 14 mile per gallon range. Now. That is with the bigger wheels and tires and all that, I know. But still, 13, 14 mile per gallon? You know, they have to address this. I mean, I think to stay competitive in that arena, you know, they've got to get at least consistently 17, maybe 18 to 20 miles per gallon, which is still relatively low, I think. But 17, 18 to 20 miles per gallon average. Now, I'm not talking about just on the freeway. You know, on the freeway, we've got to be more in the 26 to 28 mile per gallon range, maybe even pushing 30, something like that. But now is the time to do that, right? I mean, if you're going through a full redesign, why wouldn't you address the fuel economy issue? Now, that might mean some kind of a hybrid system. Guess is it probably will. I'm not sure how much more weight they can take out of the Tacoma, you know, to increase fuel economy without making it smaller. And I don't think anybody wants that. Towing and hauling capability. You know, Toyota, or the Tacoma rather, seems to me is starting to fall behind a little bit. Now, I know it's not a full-size truck, right? I mean, you're not gonna pull a 30,000 pound travel trailer or whatever behind it, but they need to remain competitive within the market. You know, the Jeep Gladiator is beating the Toyota Tacoma right now. So they've got to up the game. There's just too much competition out there to just rest on your laurels, right? They need to improve there a little bit, I think. You know, nothing crazy. They don't need to make it full-size truck capable, but it does need to be just a bit better. Now, this next one, and this is most important to me, selfishly, and that is power. Now, I know every time I mention that, a lot of people say that, well, it's not really the power, it's the way it's geared, the way that it's tuned. And I think I agree with that. And I say that because I have the Jeep Gladiator, which is comparable engine-wise to what the Toyota Tacoma has, but it is so much quicker, so much more responsive, it accelerates better, it's faster, and there's no reason that Toyota can't tweak that a little bit without going crazy. Now, if they go with some sort of a hybrid system or something like that, maybe even an electric, which I don't think is going to happen. We're not going to see an all-electric Toyota Tacoma. Chances are we're going to see some sort of a turbo system in it. We'll see. But they definitely need to address the power. It needs to be more responsive, and it needs to be quicker. 
Honestly, it needs to be more Jeep Gladiator-like in the power department. I know, I've got my flame suit on, and a lot of you aren't going to like that, but I'm just talking about power here. The Tacoma just does not feel as quick and as powerful as what the Jeep Gladiator does. Another competitor in their market. Last up, and this ranks right up there with power for me, and that is style. You know, I, I say this a million times, you guys probably get sick of hearing me say it, but the Toyota Tacoma is the best looking truck on the road. It is, that's full size, mid size, it doesn't matter, it's the best looking truck on the road. So I think the worst thing that Toyota could do to screw up the redesigned Toyota Tacoma would be to ruin its styling, right? There are some rumors out there that maybe, maybe, they're gonna take some styling cues from the Hilux. You know, and while I don't think that truck is horrid, it's certainly not as good looking as what the Tacoma is. I, matter of fact, I would go as far as to say the Hilux kind of resembles the Ridgeline a little bit in the way that it looks. So we don't need them to do that. We don't want them to screw up the styling on the Toyota Tacoma with this redesign. You know, one thing I've seen on, a, on several other trucks are these big, massive chrome grills. For some reason, there's a belief out there that we Americans love big, giant chrome grills. I don't know who that is. I've run into very few people that like chrome at all. I know there are still a few of you out there, and that's okay. If you like it and it's your thing, no big deal. But there are a lot more of us that don't. So this belief that you should slap a big, giant, braces-like chrome grill on the front of a truck is just crazy. And I hope they don't do something like that with the Tacoma. Could you imagine them kind of, I don't know, luxuring it, that's my word, luxuring it up, if you will, in their minds to make it a, a little bit more high end, again, in their minds by putting more chrome and stuff on it. You know, kind of making a Lincoln-esque, you know, the Lincoln car, kind of making a Lincoln-esque Toyota Tacoma. Man, would that screw it up? Would that not ruin the Tacoma? It would for me, I wouldn't touch it. If they came out with something like that, it would be absolutely horrible. So anyway, those are just a few things as to how Toyota can really screw up the redesigned Toyota Tacoma if they don't address these things, if they don't get it right. I think competition in the market right now is probably as strong as it's ever been. So Toyota needs to sharpen their pencils and listen to people like me and hopefully you and cover the important things on this new redesign. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Are these ways that if Toyota doesn't address them, they could really screw up the redesigned Toyota Tacoma? Would you buy one if they didn't address these things? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.